Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for July 10th through 16th. So let's see what we got here. I don't know why I look so dark. This room is not dark, so I don't know. Who knows? But anywho, uh, <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, July 10th through 16th. Okay, so cards first, main female, coffin. Courthouse, Journey, High Honor, Concern, Camel, Preserve, Persevere, and you will overcome problems. Cain, pay attention to your health, and Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Queen of Wands, <clears throat> the Hermit, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, King of Wands, mm, Six of Wands, or Four of Wands, excuse me, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Capricorn ended on a Three of Cups too. I don't know if that's important. Um, Virgo, I see that you're keeping a lot of stuff in your head this week. Um, the thing is, I feel like you want your endeavors, your relationships, uh, just things in your life in general to be successful and effective. Um... And you're, you're keeping a lot to yourself because of that. Because you don't want to... It's like you want to spend more time nurturing what's going on. Nurturing your feelings. Nurturing situations so they don't end. Um, and you're keeping a lot to yourself. But what's interesting is I feel like during this time, you get um, the breakthrough, the clarity, the perspective that you're looking for by being quiet um, by holding things in by not jumping the gun by not over worrying um, being confident that you have set up a situation or a relationship or a job prospect that's going to work out very well for you okay um Something was the matter with your health or something wasn't doing well. This could be something as simple as your finger was hurting or you were having a pain in your stomach or your one ankle was swollen. Okay, something and I'm not going to say simple, but something that could have been bad. And I feel like you talk to a professional or talk to somebody who could help you. Um, so. Yeah, you talk to somebody who can help you. So you didn't keep this to yourself, which is good. And I feel like that helps um with the issue and it's successful like it's something that you know it's something like if you take this peel once a day or if you take this vitamin once a day it'll be fine like swelling in your ankles some there your doctor's like take potassium and then it fixes it you know something like that um so it could have been a rough situation but i feel like you turned it on a dime um Virgo, you're dealing with somebody that is very stubborn, okay? Um, I feel like you have respect and high, not high demands, but it's like you have respect and you have boundaries. And the pers a, a person that you're dealing with this week also has the same amount. So it's like butting heads almost between you two. Um, and it's just causing more worry than resolution, okay? <laughs> I'll say that. Um you have to work together or be together in some aspect, I'm seeing. Um, and I, it's very interesting because both of you care about each other. It doesn't feel aggressive. It just feels like butting heads. Because I feel like you're friends. I feel like you're happy with each other. You don't hate each other. You care about each other. 
Um, but they may be spending less time with you and more time with someone else or more time with a friend. And that could be bothering you. Why is th why is this happening? Interesting. Um I'm going to be honest, Virgo. I see that it's something in their head. It's like they feel the need to do something to change the situation. And the situation isn't bad. The relationship is not bad. The connection is not bad. But they're doing things to change it. Like they want to explore or step out of a comfort zone or do something different. Kind of like they need that spark of like fun or something outside of you. You know, like like a midlife crisis <laughs> type of feeling. Um, and this is going to cause problems. But they're not thinking of it that way. They're thinking of it as this is something. Yeah, see the Knight of Cups. They're thinking about it like this is something I want to do right now. This is what makes me happy right now. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, I would ignore it. Yeah, this, this person's not going to leave you. I'm secretly obsessed with you and I wish you would knock on my door. They're not going anywhere, right? It's like this person wants you to chase them down, but you're not doing that. You're not. I'm going to pull one more love card just because I'm interested. Yeah, they're not going to express themselves in the proper way. I don't think they can. Yeah, I don't think they can. They're in this like weird, confusing mental space, Virgo, where they're just like, I really love Virgo, but I want to be like free because I'm a free agent. You know, like it's <laughs> not how to explain it because it's so it's not smart. Um, but let's get your spirit message. It must be hailing outside or something. It's raining and car alarms are going off. So I'll check that in a second. But we have waterfall and warrior of the heart. Yes. Um, this week is actually a, a smooth week. Okay. Like there is a little bit of ups and downs here. But this is like if you can remain calm. If you can remember not to... Uh, join in too much of the rigmarole or put too much emotion in it and just kind of be you'll you'll be perfectly fine and that's what worry of the heart is it's like you know where your heart is you know things are coming from a good space that's where you're leading from you don't have to argue you don't have to prove yourself you don't have to lead with ego you're leading with your heart and that's what i see you doing virgo this week okay so i love you and i'll talk to you later Bye bye